channel so let me first of all remove text so today's um topic is just going to be how you can fix eye lengths to your bag for beginners so you're just going to take the topics gradually so the first one is how you can fix eye lengths to your bag how you can fix your rivets to your bags okay so there are different types of rivets there are the ones that come like this that you have to use your hammer and your is this two here that i got from aliexpress there's a way you use it to fix your eye lengths i don't know if it's called high length fixer so when you get your eye lengths online you're going to see it like they are going to recommend it to you so i got this from aliexpress so um also how we are going to be using this fake so that um to use this fake you have to draw a line then you use your hammer to hit on that line in order to get a straight line and a straight walk so we, that's what and these are the theory topics we're going to be emphasizing on i'm going to be teaching today guys welcome back to my youtube channel and uh, how are you doing today is tuesday christmas is fast approaching are you guys preparing for christmas all right so we're just going to be taking it step by step take notes this is not an edited work so ask your question i'm here for you beginners so this is called uh island and island machine right i'm sure most of us have must have seen me use this particular man chain and so the time i got this man chain i got it in nigeria so if you want to get it just browse our length man chain if you're not in nigeria if you're in uk usa browse it it's everywhere so there are some that are very very multifunctional it can fix your eye lengths it can fix your rivets it can fix your cover button a whole lot of things that it can do it. some of them are multifunctional so you let the vector that you want to get your eyelet from to know what exactly you want all you have to do is to change the dice of the eyelet i'm going to lose it now to show you what a die looks like so when you buy an highlight match it doesn't come with a die you have to buy the dies separately so the dies come in different sizes depending on the eyelets you want to fix so there's the up die and there's the bottom dies okay there's the bottom dies and so the eyelet sizes will determine the dies you are buying for your island so uh, if you are fixing this one for instance which is the die the eye the die for the down of it i don't know if you understand what i'm saying there's an adjuster here that is going to make it stay in place okay so all you have to do it has a i think it has something like this that it's it's you just fist it with this you can fist it and screw it in place okay you can fist it and screw it in place this one does it have so in case you are fixing it just take it and put it here like this all right and you can use this one this screw here to kind of stabilize it or make it stable in place so this is kind of um it controls how stable it's going to be on the man chain on the eyelet man chain and for this one it has a screw you just take it and screw it in place so that's how to fix your eyelet man chain in place all right let me just quickly fix it in place oh my God, sorry maybe i should have fixed this one first because it's kind of interrupting it so i've just done this one first so i'm just going to take my time to do it all right all right okay going through now just screw it in place okay so there it also comes with this handle here that you will have to press down in order to secure your eyelet in place and there's this a uh, ring here something like coils here and this kind of um, determine the pressure this is what you press and when you press the handle here down it presses this one down this metal rod here it presses it down and this one presses this um, coiling stuff here down too and as a result it's going to uh, match pressure on the island you want to fix 
and that will secure it in place i don't know if i'm using the right terms for today's live stream but hope i'm making sense hope you guys understand and that's basically everything i'm going to be talking about on high length and this that's this how far i know about island mansion all right so if you are to fix your island mansion i mean your islands to your bag or whatever you want to fix it could be a fabric it could be a bag or even shoes footwear so assuming i have about um this island so this are the islands i want to fix look like and as i said the dice will determine the sizes of the islands you are going to use and if you want to fix them these are the islands and these islands are made up of two parts this is the main island and there's a cover which is also called a cap i think that cap is called a female island so i'm just going to show you guys what i mean so this is the cap this is how it looks like so it's two sides so this one that is kind of um has holes or it's like it has hollow something like oh it's not smooth okay is the back and this is the front the front is kind of smooth all right so when you have them like this the first thing you are going to do you you also before i go to what you are going to do how you are going to be placing it you're also going to need this whole porch so you are going to need some old porch so the old porch all porches you are using also determine the sizes of your islands there are different sizes of all porch depending on the island you want to fix to your bag or to your fabric all right if i'm to fix this islands to my bag the first thing i'm going to do guys the very first thing i'm going to do i'm going to take the part of the bag i'm going to be fixing it at two first of all let me use this bag as an example if i have a bag like this okay and i'm intending to put a chain handle i will have to put islands you don't always you don't only fix islands to put chain handles you can also put a handle you can also put a bag handle that has holes on it so in that case you have to make the highlight bigger because in that case the handle is going to be bigger than the chain so the kind of highlights you're going to be using it's going to be a bit bigger than this particular size of island okay and so let me just give you an instance of how you are going to be facing it so once you are done with your bags for the beginners please i know some of you must have already have this idea already know how to do these things but you for you for the beginners i'm just taking my time to explain this thing okay so once you fist it once you have fixed it, um, your bag, you are going to kind of figure out the middle of the bag. So you press the flap down like this in order to get the middle of the bag. So if this part is going to be the middle, you're going to leave a mark there. All right. You're going to leave a mark there. And in order to kind of um, identify the middle of the bag, then you take your tape. You're going to take your tape. Then you use your tape to measure out where you want the islands to be in this particular one that i've fixed the measurement is two and a half inches from the edge all right so the difference between this one and this one is one inch okay so once you've done this one here you are going to do the same thing here okay you are going to do the same thing here so i'm just going to use this one as an instance to explain what i mean so in this case, assuming this is the middle and I've marked it out, you I actually marked two inches from the edge, and the difference between this and this, it's it's one and a half inches, depending on what you want. It mustn't be constant. It mustn't be constant. If you want your chain handle to be wide, you can make it the length bigger than two and a half inches or one and a half. You want it to be closer, you can reduce the um the distance between them hope you guys understand what i'm trying to explain okay so once you've done it like this the next thing you are going to do you're going to take your islands i'm going to take your islands remember i already have my old pot here and what i've done i've measured it out and i've pushed 
post on it using the hammer here using this hammer here i've pushed holes on it using this hammer okay so i don't want to i would have done it in your present but um this table is not strong enough i'm just being careful with it anyway once you've measured it out i told you the measurement from here to here is two inches between here to here it's one and a half inches you're going to take it and take your plank place it on top you take your um the porch the whole porch you place it on that map okay you can cross it you can make a cross mark you place the middle of the Porch on the middle of that mark, you take your hammer and then you eat it in order to get this hose. So, this is how I was able to get these hose that are in this um, Marco. This Marco, too, it's a form of uh, bag stiff now. So, the next thing you are going to do, guys, is to take your island. Remember, this is the May island, and this one that comes with it, the cap, okay, it's called the female island. Okay, just as you have a magnetic snap that is male and female island. So this one here is the one that is going to be at the back. You're going to pass it through the back of your bag. So what I mean is, if you have a bag like this, okay, you want to fix it. This one here is going to come from the bag like this. It, go, it goes through the back of the bag. All right, so I'm just going to take it now. This one is going to go through the back of the bag. Don't forget. So you pass it like this. The way it is from the back. All right. So you take the cap. This is the cap or the female island. This is the main island. You take this cap. This one is the one that is going to be on the front. If you're a beginner yet, I think this year you should be. Not think this is where you should be. I'm trying using. Um, I'm just explaining this step by step. So. You take this and you are going to place it like this. So this is the one that is going to be at the front. All right. Do not forget. This will be at the back and this will be at the front. So assuming this is the front part and this is the back. You pass this one from the back. All right. And this from the front. So once you pass it like this, before you place this one, before you place the female magnetic, um, the female island, you are going to take this and put it on the dial. This dial is the down one, the one and the down. You're going to place it on top like this. Okay, so you before you place it, one other thing, if you don't want to place it before putting it here, you can just put this one inside like this. All right, so that it doesn't fall off. Then you put this one inside. All right, then you take the female or the cap, and you this front part. Remember, I just differentiated between the two. This small part is a front, and this part that is rough that has hole hollow on it is the back. So the front part is going to be facing upward like this. Then after you've done that it will not be time for you to press down this handle remember when you press down this press handle this is called the press the press handle or something so it's going to press this iron down or metal down and as a result this one will press this one that has something like coils this one down and it's going to affect this one so it's not the force that you apply on it that does the work is the pressure it's not you don't have to be forcefully you don't have to apply that much force so is the i think it's the pressure is different between being forceful about it and how it works with pressure all right so you don't have to like you don't have to stress yourself out you just have to press this one down so once it's secure you are going to find out once it's secure you find out that this one is going to be very tight so i'm just going to stand up now and just press down all right okay so this all oh, this is all and i'm done okay so you can see it's very very tight it's very very tight so this how it is okay this is how it is this how it is okay front back very neat and very very secured so we are just going to do the rest now after this we'll go to the next one which is the rivet fixing all right we have a whole lot of work to do today so i'll take it again remember i said this is the back this is the back um this is the main magn uh, island and this part, this part which is the cup is it's called the female 
eye length okay so i'm going to take this and i'm going to pass it from the back okay i'm going to pass it from the back pass it from the back like this so i'll put it here So just push it inside all right if it's not entry just push it inside i would take the female the cap and this remember this is the fruit this is the front do not forget this part that has hole on it that is not flat is the back so this is the front part that is going to be facing up i'll place it like this then i'm going to press this handle down okay so as you are pressing it down it's going to affect this one and this one is affecting this one and this one is this particular that is up affecting this it's going to just secure it in place that's how it works mechanically so i just press it down very very easy you don't apply too much force so you just hold it in place okay so we we'll just do the rest now and we'll be done for today all right guys so not as much i'm doing this i'm just trying to okay let me just do the mini for now remaining two so we have two of them left now okay guys so are we place this on this all right so as i said before if you don't want to do it because sometimes you just place it like this and this will fall off so you can just take it and put it on the machine first like this if you don't want it to fall off then you take your fabric that you are using that you want to install the eyelet on you place it on the machine like this then you take the cap or the cover okay and make sure that that flat part is facing up so you just see it's facing up so i'm going to place it like this okay so once i've placed it like this i'm going to press it down okay so this is the third one so we're just going to do the last one now i'm going to do the last one so i'll take this okay this one you take it from the front okay uh guys this i just realized that those ones here should be at the back and this should be at the front okay so this part this one which is in may the may island you take it and pass it through the front from the front then you take the female the female is a cap of the island so you can push it you can put it like this before putting it on this island this down this down die this is a dies this you have two dies here right one two so i've showed you the different type of that losing it and i've taught you how to adjust it from here so you can put it on your flap first or you can just take it and put it on the machine if you don't want it to fall off you put it on the machine then you just place your the part that you want to be on the die you can push it in all right so i'm going to take the cup you can either call the cup or the may the this is a female female so it's two types you have the may and the female all right island then remember this is the fraud so I'm emphasizing this because I know most of you here are beginners. I'm sorry if you have already learned this or you know something about this. So I'm trying to explain. Um, I'm trying to explain a beginner-friendly way. So this is this flat part. It has two parts. Do not forget. There's a flat part here, and there's a rough part that has hollow on it. Can you see? And this is the flat part. So this flat part is the one that is going to be facing up. Okay, so you're going to take it, make sure it faces up. Then you press this. This is called presser. This handle here is called the island presser. All right. So the when you press, it, it's going to affect this one first, and this one will press this one down, and this one in turn presses this one down. All right. So as I said, it comes in different sizes. You have to buy the dice. Okay, you have to buy the dice. All right. So these are. Uh, yeah, it's just very very simple and i've told you the price as at the time i got this it was like nine to ten thousand i don't know the current price now so when you are buying it you are going to buy it without dice 
okay you are buying it without dice so you'll be the one to tell them in types of dice you have because there are this island is multifunctional it's multifunctional there are some islands that can fit this the same island will fit your rivet okay you fit your rivets the same island is going to fit your um, button hole your cover button hole okay all you have to do is just to change the dice this dice okay i've taught you how to change the dice it's losable so when you buy it it just comes like this let me just lose everything so you can see it comes like this so when you buy the dice they'll give you two dice like this all right they'll give you two dice um i think currently this is about 2005 all right so you buy the dice separately depending on what you want to fit if you want to fit a bigger eye length that is bigger than this you buy the size of this you buy the size of dice that we um relate or that will correspond to the size of this if you want a smaller one you buy that one then if you want to fix a relevant to your uh, fabric to your bag you buy there's a die for this too if you want to fix a button hole especially for tailor fashion designers if you want to fix a button hole cover you also buy dice it all depends on what you want to do and they are all in the market in mushi you can also get them online on alibaba amazon in uk you can get it on estate store you can get it on um, ebay you can get it on early express they are all they have seen it i've done my own research so it's something that's very easy to do and you can get it and so i also learned that there are some persons who do this thing without this machine i don't know how, how, how they do it i feel it's going to be a bit stressful especially when you're a beginner and most time one thing i find out is that using hammer without a machine to do your work sometimes we not even make the high length to stay very secure because i remember before i got these tools from ali express and uh, whenever i want to fix this rivet i then before i got it i used to use hammer then my work was never secured and it was rough okay so this let me just talk to finished with this right just finished with this so the next thing we'll go to be talking about now is rivet all right so after this i'm going to be explaining how to use fake so make sure you stay till you finish this all right by the time i come eight o'clock today we're going to be talking about they'll be discussing but for now it's just a practical work so let's talk about revets so revets if i'm not pronouncing it way i'm going to spell it now remember <laughs> i have some challenging pronouncing words so it's r i v e T okay R I V E T. If you want to browse it online, you can you can just take that spelling R I V E T. They are called rivets. So these rivets come in two ways. All right, these ones I got them in Nigeria Mushi Market. These ones here are not very very durable. With time, they are going to wash out. And secondly, the ones that are that you can fit and you can screw. Uh, even better first those ones that you can screw will not stress you out and secondly they are more durable because there are sometimes even if you feel this it's still going to pull out it's not it won't be that secured all right so if you can order any of this online i would prefer you order them online in bulk and use them those ones that you can screw but because we don't have any option yet because when you go to mushi these are the only thing you see to buy in nigeria as you all know i stay in nigeria though you can still order them online i've ordered the screwed one those ones that you screw they are very simple to use and they are better all right those ones are durable so we're going to talk about how you can fix this now so um most of my colleagues uh not most of my colleagues when you are coming up actually you haven't gotten the right equipment some what you the, the the first thing that will come to your mind is the usage of hammer so you what you do is you just take a whole porch the whole porch that will fit into this kind of island that we kind of um how would i put it that is going to go with this kind of island is a size one whole porch i'm trying to okay i have it here this is the whole porch take note that this whole porch is i bought them in doors in the comes in different they all come in different sizes you have from size 1 to size 14 depending on what you want if i'm going to be using size 3 for this i use size 3 for my shift i'm making a footwear i just use the size 3 but this is size 1 i use size 1 for all my 
rivets when fixing rivets i use the size one is the smallest size all right and this is size 12 and this is what i use for my eyelids all right so if you want to fix your rivets what you do i'm just going to cut a pieces of leather to explain how to fix your rivets okay so if you get your material like this if you get your material like this so the first thing you do you take your highlight it's not highlight sorry take your whole pot which is size one you go to place it on that part you want to fix your rivets on okay you take it and you take your hammer and you eat it down okay you eat it down eating it down is just going to create a hole on it okay so when you eat it that is what you're going to have all right this is what you're going to have okay so you take your rivets this part i told you guys that it comes in two parts this is the may and this is the this is the may one and this is the cover or the cap of it this cap which is round and smooth is the one that is going to be at the front the external okay this is the one that is going to be seen at the front so because this one is going to be at the back i'm just going to be passing it through the back okay so if you are fixing a back for instance a bag if for instance i'm fixing a back and i have created a hole here i'm going to pass this one okay let me use this size this place look a bit rough and practice just trying to practice with that so if i want to put a revet on this particular bag once i've created a hole this one this part i'm going to be passing it from the back the lining outward okay so it's going to come from the back outward and this part that is the cap or cover is going to be at the front okay so hope you guys understand what i'm trying to explain i don't know if i should okay let me put i'm not really using this bag now i just using to let me just quickly demonstrate what i mean okay let me demonstrate what i mean let me just quickly create a hole here okay and what i'm going to do i'm just going to take it from the back okay this is from the back i'll pass it from the lining side this is and this is going to be outside the external like this so i'm trying to explain okay so um so what people some persons who are into this do some of my colleagues they just use their hammer but i find that that will not secure it well in place and they will eat it from the back and just to make it flatten on the back um but there are manual equipments that you can use if you cannot afford a machine for it there's also a machine that looks like this that you can use to fix your rivets okay you can order that too but if you don't have the if you cannot afford it yet you use some rivet fissa like this so you take it the way it is okay you are going to place it this part that is the fine side the, uh, the side that is the external part you place it like this and you take this part you place it on it and you eat it in place that will flatten it in place so guys i have a whole lot of videos where i fist rivets i thought how to fix rivet please do watch them so i'm going to be leaving a link to some of these videos on this particular video later in the description make sure you check it out and click and make sure you watch to the end from the beginning to the end all right so the final part that we are going to be talking about is how you can use your fake how you can use your fake all right so there are two fake you have to fake okay um yeah so this fake comes in different sizes so um, if you want to get this fake i got this from um, china aliexpress as you all know most of my bag items i also get them from aliexpress it's very very simple to order and in future i'm going to be doing a video on how you can order for these things okay so i got this from aliexpress you don't pay that much you don't pay for shipping fee i said in my other video the only thing you do is to be patient i'll 
patiently wait for like three weeks to a, a month to get your items so one other thing i want to make mention is that they comes in different sizes there are some that has the um these pouches that are up to 12. there are some that have up to 14. this one just have one two three four five six i just have six so if you have money i will advise you to buy the ones that have plenty of dicks so that you won't be punching hole all the time and be stressing yourself and so when you punch you know you have a whole lot of holes so um this one i got this one from amazon in usa amazon I got this one from china all right so it all depends and it comes in different shapes this shape is different from these shapes it's all depends on what you want so in order to use this fake we are going to be talking about how to use this fake it's very very simple um the reason i'm trying to explain how to use this fake because i know in one of my videos i talked about you getting this fake if you don't have money to afford a man chain yet so it, when you get it uh, the next question is how do i use it it's very very easy to use if for instance you are going to be sewing on a particular bag all right let's assume you are making a leather bag okay and you are going to be sewing the first thing you do is to use your tape you mark out you mark out uh, where you want the holes to be created you do this one just to get a straight line because if you just take it suddenly and start creating holes and um, you may be surprised by the time you finish you wouldn't want your work because you're going to find out that these stitches are bent so your first aim is should be to create holes that are straight so that's why you're going to need your ruler you're going to need your tape ruler, and you're going to need your pen especially a pen that is cleanable and erasable if for instance the distance from here to here is 0 0.1 0 0.2 whatever place you want your holes to be created make sure you measure out it's all around to get those holes okay that's why you have to just do that work until you're able to get um matching to sew so you create the holes once you've created the holes you're just going to take your um your fake which is also called chiso chiso c h i s e r all right you can get this thing online in the usa uk and whatever and so let me try to explain what i mean by this if for instance i want to sew this particular part i want to create holes now uh, first of all i'm going to measure out where i want my holes to be then you use your tape you and your pen you measure out where you want your holes to be created all right you measure out where you want your holes to be created if for instance i measured out um this and i've marked it out and if you want your hole to be at this particular point if you want it to be here yeah, like let's assume that you want it to be 0 0.5 from the edge or 0 0.2 you just have to mark out you just mark it out that way then you connect your lines so you can also get some rulers that are very long that have measuring um so that that are that you can use to just measure directly instead of using tape and that will be wasting your time so then you connect your marks if you have a tape you can just do what i'm doing you mark out then you connect them then you're going to take your dix purporting hose it's called chiso Ch -ch chiso i don't know if i'm pronouncing it right the spell is spelled c h e s no c h i c h i s e r right so you just check it up you can check it up on those um, online stores where they said leather um where they said bag materials and tools and you're going to get it there so you take it and you just make sure you follow these lines okay you make sure you follow the lines and you take your hammer and you just start eating so I'm not going to be doing that here because my table is not that strong and I won't use I won't be using my table. So you just follow this line that you drew. And if for instance you the first one you do, let let me use do something. Sorry. So this if this is the first one, so the next line you're going to start from this O, the last O. So you put your the last the first hole here, this first porch here this small porch on the last one okay then you 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 eat it in place okay you eat it in place okay you eat it in place and this is the last all right that we just constructed or we just 
but so you place this first fake here or this first pocket here on this last hole so that's how you're going to continue until you're able to get your holes done or created and the next thing you're going to do is just to sew so in sewing you can use your normal long hand sewing needle you get that everywhere even in tailoring shop and you just sew the normal way you sew you pass from here you pass you pass you pass then you when you get here that's if you are using one needle just pass 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 then when you get to the end you pass again just the normal way of sewing there's nothing hard about it and when you are sewing you use a very strong thread that is going to bring really built-in of your work out use a strong thread reason being that um, the holes most of the holes created especially depending on the kind of uh, chisel you used it's going to create some holes that are bigger so if you're going to be using a size three thread to sew it's not fit the gap you won't be able to cover those holes it won't be able to cover it so you either use twine or you use size six instead of using size three you use size nine all right i'm talking about when you are using this fake i just told you how to use it how to get your mark out and how to punch your holes so once you punch your hole use um sizes of threads that are higher than size three up to size six and nine all right or still you can use a twine okay better still you can use a twine that will bring the beauty of your bag out all right so if you have any question please let me know let me know so today's um topic i'll just i'm just going to recap everything that i've said i'll just recap then we add to this topic yeah not everything uh about today will not be over today because by eight o'clock i'm still going to come back to do some teaching okay okay i'm just guys i'm just trying to check my eyes hi i'm not happy with what i'm seeing like so um so we've talked about how you can use your eyelet machine eyelet machine take note that when you have an eyelet machine like, like this this an unjust tie in that can hold it in place all you have to do is to tighten it to screw it and tighten it so i explained to you that it comes it comes with dice there's a down down and the one the dice at the top all right the one that goes to the top this is it and it has something that you can just screw in place you can screw it in place so in order for it to be easy for you in order to, for it to be easy for you you should fix the top part first because by the time you try fixing the top part after fixing this down it's this one is going to be interfering with it so i'll just quickly remove it so that it'll be easy for me to fix the top part okay i'll just quickly fix this i'll just screw it screw it in place so you can just do it like this sorry be careful guys this machine is very very fragile if you mistakenly hit it in hit it on the ground or floor it's going to break i've seen some pieces that have broken into two so that's why you have to be very very careful okay so now i'm going to take this and screw it so this part that has not is the part that is going to be added down okay so if this one is interrupting with interfering with it just screw it up okay now I'm trying to struggle with this now okay all right i think i'm going to do this later but hope you understand what i mean i think this one is interrupted maybe i should have i should have fixed this one first the first way I did it before this and to just end up, but it's not hard. It's not hard when you're trying to fix it in place. And I also talked about how you can fix your high lens. I talked about the two different high lens that it comes in with 
this part which is a male one and it comes with this which some people call the female one and this female one this top part which is a cab has two parts the smooth parts and the rough parts so this rough part seems to have something like a a, a hole on it so this is the one that will face down the rough part will face down the smooth part is going to face up so once you've created your hole with the whole porch on where you want to fix it you're going to take this part which is the may this one okay this smooth part of it can you see it's like this one is coming how this one is extended out and this side is smooth you take it from the front as it is the front of the bag that you want to put your eyelid you pass it from the front all right then you take this is just a recap i've explained everything then you take your you take it and you put it on your eye length then um before you press your the handle of your eye length down you are going to put this on top you are going to put it on top please have explain everything from everything in details please watch from the beginning and see what i've explained it's just i'm just quickly repeating i don't want to restart start doing what i've done before so this is just a repetition of what we've done so that's how to fix eyelids so we've talked about how to fix your rivets okay i talked about the types of rivets that you have the ones that you screw which is advisable for you to buy if you want to buy rivets make sure you get those ones that you screw because it will be you wouldn't be stressing yourself trying to get old porch try to hit it in place those ones you just buy it once you've pushed it you just screw them in place those ones are all lasting because i noticed that when you use those ones sometime and you eat it in place they'll start pulling out so it's not that very uh, durable compared to the ones you screw so there are different types so you, there is the one you screw in place and there is the one you just eat in place with your hammer so because of the area i am these are the only ones you can get in nigeria for now but you can order the other types so if you want to order them online you can check amazon i've gotten things from amazon before like this fake i got from amazon in usa you can get other from i'm saying it because to assure you that these things are not scam so don't be scared when you are ordering it's just for you to know the process the genuine person so in the future i'm going to do a video on how you order these things online so you can order from aliexpress you can order from ebay i've order from ebay before aliexpress this theory online shop i've done all of that so you can order so i'm going to give you the spelling revet arrow i v e t revet check them and if you want to screw ones you don't want to stress yourself, you just want to be screwing them you can order those one in bunk so you can be using them so you can order those ones online but if you are using those ones if you are in nigeria you can get this one anywhere even in your local shop in mushi anywhere you are just look for where they are selling bag materials and you tell them you want to get revet you are going to get them so once you want them so most time you use them for um bag and like if you want to hold two things in place assuming your machine is not able to go through a particular fabric especially you have layers of fabric that your machine is not able to go through and you just i've seen someone who used reverse all through her bag and she sells them out like she doesn't have a machine you just hit them in place and some people also use this one as a means of decoration you can use them for your bag just to decorate your bag so it has multiple purposes okay so if you want to fix it you want to finger out where you want to place your revet you're going to be using uh, a whole porch i told you there are different types of whole porch i have them in different sizes they are from size 1 to 15 the ones i got okay so this one is the smallest which is size 1 you are going to use it to get your hole okay so you take it wherever you want your hole to be you take your hammer then you eat it in place so once you've gotten that hole I'm just repeating what I've said before so that you guys understand. You're going to take it, this part of it, okay? This part is going to be at the back. So you pass it from the back, from the back of wherever you want to put it. Then this part, which is a cap or the cover or the the top, whatever you want to call this one that looks smooth, that looks smooth, is going to be at the top, all right? It's going to be at the top. And if you are very good, you, you can go on... Um, do a research on youtube on how you can use your hammer to fix your rivets some people use hammer to just flatten it in place but there's this tool also i got from aliexpress very easy all you have to do is to place the strong side of it on this flat part of it like this and this one 
it's kind of flat you place this one on top they use your hammer to eat it's going to flatten it out all right and um, the last part i'm going to be talking about today in conclusion is our fake all right it's our fake i know i've talked about this thing before just for you to stick to your head okay as i always say i'm here for the beginners so if you're a beginner and wonder why you're not here so you get the fabric that you want to sew all right if you're going to be sewing two things together let's assume i want to sew two of these together let me just cut this one out or let me get something else so let's assume i want to sew these two together all right after applying gum after applying gum i will get the line because you have to draw out a line in order to get a straight stitch you have to draw out because if you just take it suddenly without figuring the out a straight line on which you are going to be poking your hose you are going to get it wrong you're going to get a very bad work done all right you have to get a line and you have to punch holes on that line okay if for instance you are going to sew something like this together and you know the this is where you're going to be poking your hose you measure from that edge to where you want your hose to be poked all right then use your ruler to connect them and once you've gotten your lines you just take it and you pop your hose with your hammer so if you want to get the other hose the point this last stone when you remember when you pop your hose this was the last hole right you take this part first part of the fake and placed on that last hole so so that's how you're going to continue so um i said some of these ones some of this um chiso all these things that look like fake for poking who comes in larger sizes this one is just about one two three four five six right this one is six so there are some that comes as 14 some that comes as as much as 20 some as 15 so it's advisable you get those swans that have big that have different that have plenty of this okay plenty of this fork like it's looking like a fake right um on them so that it, you your work will be kind of reduced so that you don't stress your uh, you don't stress yourself as in the process of doing that by the time if you eat once you have lots of holes to work with so that is that for the usage of this fake so um if you have not gotten a machine you want to get this you can order them online you can get them from harley express okay can get them if i'm not able to make a video now on how to get this please check my about page on my youtube channel or check my about page i have my i have some uh, contacts i have some uh, links there on where you can contact me you can whatsapp me and i'm going to make a short video on, for you on how you can order anything online because i'm kind of busy i, I know i promise you guys i was going to make a video on how you can order them online but it's not now so if you are so eager to get it because i have like two person asking me how do i order these things online if you are so eager please whatsapp me let me to you so you can order whatever you get online but let me warn you that these things are going to take time right it's going to take time but um, one thing i want to advise you before i go is that this if you once you know your your way out of these things if you know the process of ordering these things online your bag tools and your bag materials it's it should not put any kind of um, fear in you all right because i've ordered a lot of even during that period that there was lockdown i ordered things and i did not get it they had to refund my money back then after i was like after they were able to sort themselves out them they also brought those things that i ordered for i don't know if you understand like i was the one that were not that now benefited from the whole process like aside from the fact that they refunded my money they also brought the items i ordered for all right they, i think they refunded the money because it took um longer time than i expected that i actually thought they were going to bring them so they brought my money they also brought my attention so if there's one thing you should know about this online stores especially in genuine one they don't want anything that will make people distrust them okay but you know once people start this 
trusting them people will not want to buy from them so they do their best to make sure that everything about them is genuine except there are some pieces few pieces there that are dead to so just put their market that's why if you want to do it please do not rush and go and register and start or let me know i mean i'm going to tell you the process on how you can do it for instance if you want to order you make sure that you order from people that have plenty of staffs and plenty of customers already you search so you don't go and order for somebody that has just one staff and somebody that has sold just one those people might just be scammers all right so i'm just going to end the video here today okay so if you're not subscribed to my channel guys subscribe i'm going to be uploading a video very soon on a beautiful bag make sure you subscribe and give this video a thumbs up after you watched by eight o'clock today i'm going to be just talking because today's topic that we've talked just talked about just practical but by eight o'clock tonight which is 8 p.m we are just going to be discussing discussing please ask your question let's uh, let's make this life interactive all right okay let's make it interactive and um i really don't want to go uh, maybe i'll just um i'll just start i'll just do some certain things i just i really want this to stay in like one hour So if you eat like this, they take you. Okay, let me just quickly fix this thing. Please. Yes. Like, I don't know if you guys can see my eyes. I keep seeing myself on camera, and I don't know the issue I have with my has affected. I see this one is looking smaller than that. And if guys, if you are into a medical. If you're into anything that is, if you're into sciences, I am into um, the medical aspect of sciences. I am into eyes. <laughs> and then I think they are called uh, is it optometrist or something. So if your feed, your line of feed is related to eyes, how to treat eyes, how to give solution to people that have eyes challenges, or if you have somebody, a friend who can give me advice, please. So I don't know, I'm just having look at my eyes very well. You can see that this one looks smaller. And I don't know. I know I'm not supposed to be bringing this issue up here. <laughs> so looking at myself on phone on camera, I'm not just helping. So I'm just trying to fix the dice on them. So you take your highlight. take my eye lens so you can just pass it from the back this part is going to be at the front so guys there's something i when I, at the beginning of this i explained it the other way but now i'm going to make a correction this side it has two sides the male and the female this is the male this is the female rather than this is the male so this male is going to be it's always at the front okay because you can see it's finer so it's at the front oh my god thank you thank you so thank you just just me oh no <laughs> thank you god bless you i noticed please ask your question and you can always um for you you anybody that is here uh, youtube youtube you know on youtube now there's this thing called there's they have just added a part on live stream that you can join a host 
host to chat and talk if you guys want if you want me to invite to my youtube um, live stream please let's let me know we can discuss you can personally like you can relate and just get closer together you can tell me your challenges so by next in my next live i'm going to be streaming i'll i'll use that one where you can invite guests to join you assuming i can invite you i would have just been chatting and talking tell me your challenges we'll see how we can solve it okay that would be better at least like we are doing one-on-one -on -one classes and we'll be doing this for free left from me and left from you so this part is always at the front all right it's an island you pass it from the front this is the female this is the female it has two parts this is the smooth part i just hope people can see this is the smooth part and this is the rough part this rough part has something like hollow hole on it I don't know if you can see so this smooth part is the one that is always at the front so once you've taken this and you put it at the front this is in may you put it at the front like this okay before you put this one on top you are going to put it on your eyelet man chain remember there's this one this one here is a die there's another die here so the die i'm using is it commensurates like it relates with the size of this Noted, where are you located? Please in Lagos. I mean, Lagos, you could do Lagos, but if you are going to be talking about a physical class, I'm not doing that for now. See, the middle of um, 2023, that's when I'll be doing that. So you can just take this. Thank you for joining. God bless you. I love you. Are you preparing for S months? <laughs> So you take this one, you can either put it here, because there are sometimes you put it here, by the time you want to put it here, it will fall off. So to make it easy for you, just take it and place it on the eyelet. You take your eyelet, you take this one that you've got in your hole, and you place it here like this. And you take this part, remember this smooth part is facing up, you place it, make sure it faces up. Then this eyelet, this is the presser. Okay, so as you press it, it affects this, and this affects this, and this apply pressure on this. So you don't have to use much force. Just press it to secure it. Okay, put it on, put it barry. That's how simple this one is. So you can put your chain handle. You can put your handle, the one you do with leather or fabric. Take one, but in that case, you have to use a bigger eyelet. And if you are buying a bigger eyelet, you cannot use these dies. Because this die will determine the size of this. So if you are going to be using a die, make sure you get your eyelet in sizes. If you want your eyelet to be big, make sure you buy a bigger die. I think a die in Lagos now is about two five. All right. Make sure you get your die. So this eyelet machine is multifunctional. You can also use it to fix your rivets. All right. You can use it to fix. I just want this um live stream to get to one one hour so then i will close i think most of these things i'm saying i've said it before this is the third time i'm repeating it but uh guys if you are a beginner i don't know like i'm pouring myself out i'm not holding any bag i don't know why you should not be here right i'm taking time to explain this thing this is the same thing i do for my online classes so this i'm doing it here you don't have to go and be buying online classes so i'm taking time to explain i expect you to be asking questions by now even when the questions are not related to what we are doing correctly you can ask questions you can tell me your challenges i don't know why you're not grabbing this opportunity i feel so sad that you guys are not grabbing this opportunity to ask except you are already an experienced person here but if you are still learning and you have a practicing with some of the things what are you going through what are the things that you go through because i know very well because like 80 percent of what i learned i learned online i know very well that most time you watch these things and by the time you want to produce them physically you start having challenges okay and sometimes you just watch video youtube on a particular topic but by the time you start doing them you feel that you see that it's not as easy as what you have watched so by not by keeping mute by not saying that it's as though everything is perfect so i feel because anytime i come on like keep on telling you asking you guys to ask questions and no one is asking questions is it that i'm not talking like i'm not making sense is it that please ask your question if you have challenges and you feel that i'm not doing what you guys expected let me know i'm a free person i'm not going to get angry as long as you criticize me um constructively like consult, you don't pour insult and all of that you just criticize me i'm going to get and i'm going to buy into your advice you can advise me you can make suggestion how i can make my live stream better i can make my 
you to everything i'm uploaded i can make them better if you, there's anything you want me to upload to make my channel better that you feel that i should be doing let me know if there's a particular bag you want me to do my contact is there on my whatsapp on my about page on my youtube channel get my contact send you pictures of anybody that you want me to create i will create it it's for you guys i'm doing it for you guys it's not like i'm going to be watching it so i'm going to create it i will even if i don't know it i will practice it and i'll create it. so the little idea i have i'll put it in there so guys ask your question make suggestion advise me i'm willing to take whatever you are going to be giving all right so uh this um 60 second 17 minutes i'm just going to close now by eight o'clock i'm just going to be coming with um, a topic on trade and some other topics okay so you should be here should be here and uh, maybe on that one i'll use the other live stream on youtube where you can invite guests so i'll learn how to do that one so i can invite you people can call can communicate and talk about our challenges all right have a nice day today is tuesday right and today is 21 if i'm not mistakenly four days to christmas wow i'm grateful for my family for my household and i'm grateful to you guys as a family on my youtube channel and to your entire household we thank god that god actually brought us to the almost to the end of 2022 is something to be grateful about and i pray that we're going to see the end of this year and more years in jesus name all right bye have a nice day and i'll catch you all by 8 p.m please join me thank you sis for joining and please do not forget to join me by 8 and if there's anything that you want me to improve on my live stream on my um let me know. All right. Happy nice. I love you. Bye.